They do have RV parking over there, so we're gonna take this over there. Verizon's uh, speed has been lower. Let's make miracles. This whole lifestyle is about the oldest travel trailer in the world. Final working prototype. Was the first production travel trailer. And it was like a high-end. Paint job was around 100,000. Let me bake you a cake, Ricky. How good are we? <laughs> They had some really good desserts here, Michelle. She's like, yes, I know. That's why we're here. Yeah. We are uh, leaving Elkhart today. And uh, before we head back to Iowa, we're going to... RV Hall of Fame and Museum. We're in Elkhart. We figured... We have to make it and believe it or not. This is the only day that we've been able to make it there <laughs> We just couldn't get time during the week. They're they're closed by the time we got off yeah. work They do have RV parking over there. So we're gonna take this over there run through it and then from there Head to Iowa. We're gonna hit a harvest host on the way. We're all hooked up. We just got to get all of our stuff ready here. We've got our Bantu um, camera set up so that if anything happens, we'll have uh, proof of what happened. We've got our TST uh, TPMS <laughs> set up. All the air pressures look good. It's cold out today, so they're a little uh, low, lower than normal. And then we've got our rear camera that comes with the 33 Classic. Um, set it up. Where do and you... I think that's about it, isn't it? Where and, do you want all these plugins? Okay. So we're gonna take our AT&T router and uh, and uh, T-Mobile, the travel data from travel data. We're gonna take those both with us and test those along with uh, Visible, which is Verizon, of course. We're uh, we're gonna try to do this on every trip that we do, just to um, see how they all three compare. One thing I've been surprised with so far, where we've been, is. Uh, Verizon's uh, speed has been lower in a lot of areas than both AT&T and T-Mobile. But that, I know that's not going to be the case everywhere. It's just where we've been so far. I think we're about ready. Okay. All right, right now I'm just backing up so that Michelle can take the front of those blocks up. Letting the pressure off the front of those blocks. And then we'll, uh, she's got one more to get on the other side and then I'll pull forward. Ah, oh, shoot, we forgot again. about uh, having your home with you when you travel. If you need to change, get dirty, you always have your clothes with you, food, whatever you need. And uh, I had to go change real quick, I forgot. All right, let's go check out this museum. Hmm? 
the first part of the wagon. This presentation is designed to give you a general idea of the RV manufacturing process. something like that I literally could do that I mean especially you know by myself because this whole lifestyle is about exploring using it as your vehicle to uh, to go places it's not about living inside all the time and, uh, you know that's really what this life is about for instance this one so you got your place to sit you got your Murphy bed that comes down you've got your TV you got your bathroom, a little kitchenette. I could do it. Didn't say I wanted to, but I can do it. I couldn't do it and I wouldn't do it, but I can see his point. Uh, I could probably maybe do it as a weekend trip or a very short trip, like a week. Yay, yay. It's small. Are you a Philadelphia Eagle fan? No. Oh. Well, do you want to still go in? Sure. Wow, this is like definitely the fan mobile. Is this what they call the green room? Jeez, every, Holy cow. everything is the Eagles. This is quite the tailgating vehicle. Uh, that would be fun. Michelle really has a love for these vintage trailers, so if I ever want to go small, this would be the way to convince her if it was going to happen at all. Hi. Hi. Couldn't you just see Lucy and Ricky in here? That's tiny. Oh, my gosh. That's like a sitting shower. You did say sitting shower, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Just checking. Soon, building travel trailers became so popular and profitable that other local entrepreneurs began to... Let's make me Take a look at this shiny hiney. Oh, that's not the hiney. It's a fronty. Here's the shiny hiney. The 1913 Earl Travel Trailer, the oldest travel trailer in the world, being pulled by a Model T Ford. 1916 telescoping apartment on a 1915 Model T Ford. It's like a wagon wheel. That's quite the motor home.
is like a, the first version of that tent um, on wheels that we just saw. Because <laughs> it's a tent on wheels. The 1922 Zagelmeyer Camp Trailer. It's the pie. Let's leave the pie. It's not really you. Behind. It's... Walk with me. There's something else we need to find. Say this is a 1985 Fleetwood Bounder, and it's the final working prototype of the motorhome that when released in 87 changed the motorhome industry by placing the basement storage in a type A motorhome. Let's make miracles, come hold my hand. Let's find something new. I can't get over the uh, and upholstery and carpeting because 80s, I mean, that's when we were like finishing high school it just seems like it's so <laughs> old bite your tongue oh geez look at all this room like the color of another door The 1929 Covered Wagon was the first production travel trailer in the United States. Covered Wagon became the largest trailer manufacturing company during the 1930s, going public on the New York Stock Exchange in 1937. Sadly, the company went out of existence with World War II. Let's make miracles, come hold my hand, let's find something new. like a high-end uh, house car of the late 20s um, before the crash of 1929 ended the company. It's pretty cool, you should see the bathroom. Why is it all women? Any RV you see, you should see the bathroom. Right, look at the, like what they had available. Mm -hmm. The bathroom and the kitchen. This is 1977 GMC. It was, uh, it used to be owned by uh, Bob and Janet Prince, they're FMCA members. It was estimated that they put about $500,000 invested in restoring this whole thing. They just had this vision to restore it, but wow, they really did a good job on yeah. it. It's, uh, 
put a lot of high-end stuff in it. Yeah, it's got a Bosch washer and dryer, and, <laughs> and uh, they really did a good job. Paint job is immaculate. They yeah. said that they estimated that the paint job was around a hundred thousand. I can't imagine how a paint job, even this big, would be that much. Pretty neat, though. Lucy and Ricky. Trailer? Long, long trailer type thing. This trailer's long, long, longer. Oh, yeah. What's your oven? Lucy! Are you home? Let me bake you a cake, Ricky. <laughs> Holy cow. Bunk beds for the kids. travel day and we're gonna make our own lunch we're not gonna stop somewhere shocking so if you're ever in Elkar Indiana RV Museum yeah RV Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame and Museum that thing it's worth a stop right. just to, you just gotta go I mean you're in Elkar you have to go uh, the price was uh, $12 for adults um, yeah I forget what the discount is if you're a senior no I remember kid children Six, 16 something like that was only nine dollars or six dollars it's nine dollars i don't know how good are we grab us some lunch here while we're here and uh take off on our journey to iowa until then we'll see you next week let's call it a day don't forget to subscribe to our channel click that little bell and hit that thumbs up see you next week